some inquiry. Who I would say just ahead of budget, given the fact that there is market chatter, given the fact uh, of uh, tariff uh, of uh, tax increase when it comes to cigarette. Now, Makwagi has initiated coverage here with outperform rating and target price of 535. Now, they are saying that the non-cigarette EBIT contribution is rising. Uh, there's a huge headroom of growth when it comes to not only the cigarette business, but also the FMCG and the hotel business uh, for ITC. Then there is that catalyst of demerger of uh, the hotel business, uh, that which will which is already known, but it is, exp uh, will, uh, is yet to happen. Apart from that, they're also seeing FMCG business demerge as a key catalyst going forward and a rational uh, cigarette taxation going forward would be the key catalyst for the stock now they're saying that the tailwinds across the fmcg and hotel business will take the uh, will take care of the weakness that we are seeing in the paper business of the company and when it comes to cigarette business now though they are saying that though uh, globally we are seeing this trend of uh, smokeless products uh, of cigarette companies moving towards uh, smokeless products but in india if you see the penetration is still on the lower side and hence uh, and given the fact that itc has been coming out with product innovation they are still seeing a good gr growth uh, growth headroom for growth when it comes to the cigarette business and lastly they mentioned that the valuations are still not factoring in uh, the growth that they're seeing in the cigarette business apart from that they're also expecting a higher growth to come in from the FMCG and the hotel business which will also lead to diversification of the company's uh, operating profits so these are the key uh, factors that the valuations are still not considering and the key catalyst that they're seeing for the stock is the demerger of the FMCG business and rational cigarette taxation going forward.